Hey, beautiful souls. Today we will be talking about different types of tea for your health. I will go over what the benefits of drinking tea are, some reasons to choose tea over coffee, and I will also give you some tips on how to drink more tea. Tea is to the body as music is to the soul. Erlene Gray Did you know that there are more than a dozen health benefits of just drinking one to two cups of tea? One of those benefits is flavonoids, which are bioactive compounds found in fruits and vegetables and are also found in tea but in higher concentrations. Flavonoids can help maintain and improve your overall health. They have beneficial anti-inflammatory effects and they protect your cells from oxidative damage that can lead to disease. These dietary antioxidants can prevent the development of cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancer, and cognitive diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. Cations, which are a part of the chemical family of flavonoids, are also an antioxidant and can be found in green tea, black tea, and others that can increase metabolism and help with weight management by stimulating the body to break fats down more quickly and burn more calories. Certain teas like black tea have cardioprotective benefits which can create healthy blood flow and circulation by improving blood vessel function. Tea leaves can prevent cell damage, reduce inflammation, and improve cholesterol levels to improve your overall health. Another amazing benefit of tea is that it can reduce your cancer risk. Red tea and white tea contain a compound called EGCG that can protect the body against various types of cancer by boosting the immune system, preventing uncontrolled cell growth of unhealthy cells, and reducing free radicals in the body that can cause long-term health issues. And green tea has been studied as a way to purify the body and reduce the size of existing tumors. Drinking tea can also reduce symptoms of anxiety. L-theanine, which is the brain-relaxing chemical, is found in all tea, but has the highest concentration in shade-grown tea like matcha. Matcha tea activates dopamine and serotonin receptors and creates a relaxing state in the body and mind. Tea time is a chance to slow down, pull back, and appreciate our surroundings. Leticia Baldridge I used to be a hardcore coffee drinker meaning I drink coffee for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and maybe with dessert. I got to the point where I was getting insomnia, headaches when I didn't drink coffee, jitters, and midday crashes. Then I decided that I was over having to rely on coffee for energy and dealing with the side effects that came with it. So one day I decided to stop and I had really bad withdrawal symptoms, including headaches, and dizziness. What helped me transition off of coffee was drinking tea instead. I still got to enjoy a hot beverage in the morning and of course the multiple health benefits. But I didn't get headaches, midday crashes, and didn't have to worry about going through withdrawal again because I could choose options with no caffeine. And even teas that contain caffeine don't come with the negative effects that come with coffee. The Mayo Clinic did a study that found people who drank more than four eight fluid ounce cups of coffee had a 31% increase in mortality. Another study concluded that people who consume six cups of coffee daily are prone to poor health and possibly earlier death. Coffee consumption can also raise blood pressure, especially in those with hypertension, which can increase their risk of having a heart attack. The National Cancer Institute did a study on coffee consumption and fibrocystic breast disease, 
and found that women who consumed 31 to 250 milligrams of coffee a day had an increase of developing fibrocystic breast disease or cysts. According to the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, coffee can also mimic feelings of insomnia when consumed close to bedtime, which can cause prolonged sleep deprivation, causing lack of focus, and it can lower your cognitive abilities. Coffee can also cause indigestion. People who consume coffee often report an upset stomach or indigestion, heartburn, acid reflux, or other GERD symptoms. This mainly occurs when the beverages are consumed on an empty stomach, which most people do as soon as they wake up to start their day. Avoiding coffee and switching to tea can help you avoid these negative effects and also help you switch to a beverage that is non-addictive. There are different types of teas available. Some teas have caffeine in them that are called true teas, and there are decaffeinated teas that have gone through a process to remove their caffeine compounds. And there are herbal teas that naturally have no caffeine in them, such as fruits, mushrooms, flowers like hibiscus or chamomile, or herbs and spices like peppermint and cinnamon. Buy loose tea leaves instead of tea bags. Loose tea leaves are better for the environment because you aren't tossing hundreds of little baggies and plastic wrappers into landfills. Loose leaf teas are higher quality, fresher, and generally taste better because most bag teas are mass produced. So they are usually traveling long distance to reach the supermarket and they are blended for standardization of that specific brand so the aromas and different tastes won't be as expressed. Teas that come in bags also limit the size that the tea can expand when soaked in water, which can also limit the flavor. And for an added benefit, loose tea leaves are also way cheaper, typically a few cents per cup, and you can buy them in bulk so they will last longer. Store your tea in an airtight container away from the sun. Loose tea leaves are a lot more potent than store-bought tea, and so to maintain quality and freshness, they need to be stored properly. Since loose leaf tea is dried out before being sold, that means it will absorb water if left in a humid environment. So storing the tea properly can help prevent the tea from absorbing excess moisture. Blend different flavors together. Creating a multi- tea beverage can not only taste amazing, but it can also be beneficial because you'll experience different health benefits from mixing strains of tea together to get different benefits from each. And it can be fun to mix and match different strains of tea to see which combinations you like better. Thank you for watching. I hope this information is useful for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more holistic living tips.